So we're measuring all the connecting rods and getting their weight before and we're using a scale that goes to the 10th place for grams and we're going to write down all the weights for all the internal moving parts. And on the connecting rods they are marked 1 through 6 on both the uh, connecting rod and the cap. So for this one we have a 5 and 5. So we'll go through, measure them all. We'll also, before we do that, is replace all of the bolts. And we're going to be using ARP's 9mm connecting rod bolts. Now that we've got our rod bolts in, we're going to go through and measure each one of the rods weights. Now we're going to measure the pistons. Now we measure the pins. Now we're going to measure the rings. Next we'll want to weigh each of the pairs of rod bearings. Next we'll want to go through all the connecting rods and measure the large ends. So now that we've weighed all of our internal rotating assembly, our pistons, our rings, our rod, uh, the bearings, and the pins, what we want to do is now match the lightest piston with the heaviest pin and the heaviest rings, and obviously the heaviest piston with the lightest pin and the lightest rings. And that way, that alleviates some of the removal that we have to do uh, from the piston. Now, off camera, I've already gone ahead and done pretty much all of the pistons in Lightning. And when you add up the totals of the piston, the rings, and the pin, you're going to want to take that measurement from the lightest and then match each piston, ring, and pin set to that. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So in this case, we're going to use our scale to get down to the 10th uh, gram. And we are going to take our lightest piston, which is our number one piston that we've marked. And then in this case, it just so happens that pin number one, which we've gone through and numbered everything, uh, is the heaviest. And so then we found that the ring set four was also the heaviest. So we're trying to meet roughly about 632.4 and this oscillates every once in a while between the two but that's where we're trying to shoot for. So now we're going to work on piston number two and we're going to get a current reading and in piston number two we are using pin number four and ring set number one Always good to lift them off, let the scale zero out. Try it a couple times. So it's at about 633.4, 633.5. So odds, it's it's a little bit more time consuming and a little bit more frustrating. Uh, just because what happens is is you're measuring both ends, the small end and the large end of the connecting rod. And 
those weights are so small that they can change. And so what you'll notice here is with the jig, I've made some changes. I've put bearings in place of those wood um, dowels and put some uh, screws so that it still swings, but I can adjust it to be perfectly flat as I need it. Um, so as far as what you want to do is find your connecting rod that is the lightest. So ours, we've found it and we've already started balancing. Um, so for example, this one is in spec. I'm just going to measure it, move it around until the, the weight of the small end normalizes. And so we're good with that. And we're going to measure these and balance them to about a half a gram. So in this case, we are looking at the heaviest connecting rod of the set of six. This one happens to be five grams on the small end uh, heavier. And so what we are going to do is grind off of the uh, round of the small end and also some of this casting flash left from the um, manufacturing process. Now, I have taken a bench grinder, flipped it upside down and attached it to a vise with a towel. And so you'll of course want to be wearing uh, protective gear, both your glasses and your mask and ear protection. <laughs> So we've ground off a little bit. It definitely needs a lot more, but just always good to check how we're doing. And we've taken about two grams off already, so just a couple more to go. We did. We are at one seventy two point six. We were trying to get to one seventy two point five, so we are good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little uh, jig apart and then weigh the entire. Uh, assembly of the connecting rod and then grind the large end. Now that we've done the small end balancing of the connecting rod, we're going to go ahead and measure all six of the connecting rods and get their total weight and then see what of the heaviest of those then we'll shave from the large end. All right, so we have our measurements and we can see that number five is going to be our our baseline, so to speak, 689.3 grams. So one, four, and six will just need a little bit. Two and three will need a few grams off the back. And so that would be from the large end. So number five was our lightest connecting rod. And that was at about... 689.4 grams and so now we're going to finish up the connecting rods and we're going to be shaving from the large end and then as well just rounding off um, in this case because this is one of our heavier ones we'll be rounding off these just a little bit but most of the work will come from the 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 end cap this one is 692.8 so we have a few grams to remove from this one Let's see how this one turned out 689.6 and we were shooting for 689.5 within five or 0.5 of grams. Just go through all of them. See how we did. We 
have a balanced set of connecting rods. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean them up and then we are going to attach them to the pistons. So now we're going to go ahead and put the connecting rods with the pistons and the pins. And what I like to do is just make a note. So the notch of the piston needs to be at the forward edge of the engine and the oil uh, hole on the connecting rod needs to be on the right side. So what I did is made a note, said notch front, oil squirt hole on rod, so that way I know which way because this is kind of a time sensitive step and if you mess it up or don't get this hot enough and it cools off then you have to press it out and start over. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up the small end of the connecting rod until you see a blue uh, tint and that we know it's uh, ready to insert the pin through. And we are using MAP Pro Gas and this burns a lot hotter and will be much quicker than using propane. You just want to have everything ready. Push in. Just at that blue spot. Double check all our sides. Push the pin in. Center it. Then the piston. Let it cool. We are another step closer in getting this engine done. So we've finished up the pistons. They are all balanced and they are ready to go into the block. So Thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video where we do the install into the block for those. And if you do like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and check that like as well. Touch.